Hello again, friends. So apparently the video I made for you last night got deleted inadvertently. So I'm on the train this morning and I'm gonna attempt to do this from the train. Hope they don't throw me off. So last time we looked at migration 4A, which is huff and puff long, just short. Right? 4B, simple reverse of that, short to long. Two little embellishments on that that a composer asks for. The first is to notice the timing of the person in front of you and to make your impulses just ever so slightly behind theirs. So it's kind of like the sonic version of the, uh, of the wave at the baseball game. Everybody throws their hands up just slightly after the person in front of them. So you can practice that on your own or you can imagine it and we'll do it of course together with uh, many many masses of us very soon. The other quick thing to note about this migration is that you will be looking for a signal from me. I'll be at the front of the stage so I'll be looking at most of you most of the time and uh, I'll put up one finger that'll be kind of like okay are we ready for it and a very loud sound will come right after that pre-cue with one finger and that's your cue to continue doing your sound, but to actually stop walking. So you're gonna keep playing, but you stop walking. And it's a wonderful effect because the audience is uh, used to having this massive sound moving around them and all of a sudden that stops and they're deprived of that for a moment. So the same thing happens in 4B, I'll put up a number two for the second cue and you stop when, uh, when you hear the sound that comes right after that visual cue. We'll practice this together. It sounds a little complicated, but it's really no problem.